support. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. can send us the link. Yeah. So that those who can attend. Yeah, how is South Africa and how is the family there? Uh, family is fine. South Africa is uh, is uh, still partially locked down, so we are locking mm, ourselves yeah. new things. Okay. Well, it's the nature of the beast, isn't it? We have to. Can you, Jad Thompson, is on mute? I think. Um... Somebody. Thompson is on mute and Minoro yeah. is Minoro is trying to connect to audio. I don't know, it's taking a long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, okay, you can you can proceed, yeah, because they if they're there, they're not there. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, let me know if you can see my screen now. I can see your screen. Okay, so basically this is the new generation uh, a greenhouse. Yeah. Uh, so this is the new generation uh, greenhouse. So, and it's the future in hydroponics, there's no doubt. So, so it's a pesticide-free environment, it's sealed 100%. Uh, and uh, it has 50% energy savings on air conditionings. It has growth okay. stacks up to eight meters high. Uh, maybe let me yeah. just increase this. Is it more clearer? Yeah. 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 So everything is automatic. So it is rotating growth trays. So people, there is very little human intervention in that area. And there's, there's automatic ebb and flow of nutrients. So as the as the tray as the stacks rotate, the the nutrients are fed and it feeds fresh oxygen into the plants. So, okay. Yeah, so it's a it's it's it's, it's cutting edge technology. Okay. Now it's it's first of all we use it. I'm sure you've gonna hear you talked about the Moses Moses, Moses Mapita Stadium. So that's exactly mm -hmm. what it looks like. So this is the dome structure. Uh, so uh, totally air conditionings or normal energy costs. Now it gives us opportunity for year round farming, regardless of temperature mm -hmm. or weather condition. Yeah. So, and the, the reason why, so basically we're combin combining technologies from three continents, well, for, from three countries basically. United States, Australia, and Korea, right? Now the the draw the dome comes from a company called Asati. Uh, they they've already built five thousand of these type of drums uh, in in the United States. So all these stadiums, which are domes like this, they are built by Asati, and these are the type of structures which they've been they've built throughout the world. So. We are, we are leveraging on on state of the art technology which has already been proven okay so you see these stadiums they are they, are, they, they can house a, 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 as many people as you can imagine in a in an eye supported canopy so that's the technology which we are using here so it's, huh? it's super clean it's a, a totally air conditioned no no risk of mold to produce state-of-the-art hydroponic project uh, produce okay? okay this is what it looks like okay all right now yeah and these are other examples so it's 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 it's, it's, it's a way it's, it's it's well used in the united states so you can either have a round drum or you can have a square one like this Round okay. or square, yeah. So that's that's the basis of that technology. Now, and this is what it looks like inside the dome. So you can grow anything inside the dome there. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it's forty percent. It allows forty percent of the sunlight to come in, uh, and uh, it also so during the day you don't you don't use any lighting you only use fluorescent lighting as you can see there are lights which are only used at night 
So the structure of the dome is is made in such a way that it allows natural sunlight into the into the dome, so that the the, the crops grow naturally. All right. Yeah. yeah. As I say, it is Asati who are the who are the pioneers and leaders in structure in the structure industry since 1962. So it's it's a it's a it's a proven it's a it's a proven uh, technology with a super strong roof. roof okay. And uh, yeah, so it's Teflon covered with some uh, uh, with large diameter steel cables. So it's uh, it's it's designed to last for over twenty five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, so that's 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 the main driver, the main house of if you want to the main bedroom for the technology. Okay. So when then that then allows us a full twelve month cycles of hydroponic growth uninterrupted okay, okay. Mm -hmm. right okay. Mm -hmm. so and these are just the outlines of of, of the so, term for yeah. come, yeah. come, come again are you, are you the representatives there yes so i'm the representative for africa in terms of uh, of, uh, of of building the of, of bringing the technology to Africa. I've already signed an, uh, an agreement yeah. with the with the owners of what the technology. What is maximum size in terms of uh, uh, egg free? You can have you can have any size. It's customizable. So as you can see, this one is one sixty by hundred, which is sixty thousand yeah. square meters, which is one point six hectares. One point six hectares. Yeah. Yeah. So you but you can have half of this. So you can have a, 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 a 80 meters by 100 meters. And uh, the cost of 16,000? Yes, so I'm coming to that one. Uh, so that's, that's the cultivation area. So you see, it's a, it is a rotating entrance exit door. And there's also vehicle access. So in the parking yeah. area here. So vehicle is coming. So the, the cultivation area is, is one hectare. 10,000 square meters. The other one is, is the roadway so that vehicles can come in, collect the produce and get out. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, and it uses what we call as uh, growth towers, which is a new, so, and this is what the growth towers look like. Yeah. So they are solidly attached to concrete roof. So before you, when you are building the dome, there is a, 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 you build the, the, the basic structure before constructing the dome, which where this uh, concrete, where the, where the concrete then attaches to these growth towers. So each growth tower is about eight meters high and they slowly rotates so that it refreshes the growth fluid every time, which are the nutrients required to grow plants. Yeah. So it is it is safe chain drivers to keep them moving like this. So people don't require any forklifts to to harvest the produce. And the, the, the trays can be stopped at waist height for comfortable servicing or harvesting. So that's that's the cutting test. And that technology has come from Korea. So yeah. So, so and this is what it will look like. So you have you can have uh, 10 tomato trays, right? Each tray, which is 1.5 meters height, yeah, right? So it's all, yeah. all be rotating, all right? Oh, and you can have 16 small trays, crop trays for the for your herbs and so forth, for the other things. Okay. Okay. Mm. And the, this is just an example of what the production looks like inside the dome. Okay. So you can imagine the amount of tomatoes which you can harvest from all these stores. Okay. Mm. So the, the 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 idea is to is to automate the hydroponic growth so that there is minimal human intervention, and uh, while while as we speak now, they are trying to develop a, a, a technology for harvesting electricity from from the rotation, right? So that is the as the as the as the as the as the, as the, as the, as the towers rotate, they are generating electricity, which is then fed back into the system to sustain air conditioning. So that, that is part of, of what is currently developing now. So even the nutrient, the nutrient information is automated. So, and that's what it looks like. So you have a solution delivery tech 
right? And the water pump, which pulls the nutrients up. Okay. And yeah. there's also a release valve to recycle the growth fluid, fluid for oxygenation. So the key thing is that they, they must have fresh oxygen as they grow. And that's where the, the critical difference is. Yeah. Okay. And this is just a, a pictorial example of a fully automated cycle. So you can see the trucks come in, they harvest the produce and go out. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, these are just a list of the plants which you can grow from flowers okay. to chamomile to lavender to raspberries to blueberries to strawberries, you name it beans, lettuce, spinach, cabbage. I'm told that in South Africa in winter there is a very little supply of, of lettuce. So that's yeah. a huge opportunity because it means you have a monopoly for the whole of, 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 of uh, of June to, to produce this type of produce. And the, um, and the, the other opportunities on, uh, on uh, sprouting for stock feed. So f f imagine a dairy farmer, you have, you'll be able to cut down 70% of your, of your feed costs because all you have to do is to sprout rye grass, right? And then yeah. and it takes seven days and it's, it's ready for feeding your cattle. You know, seventy percent of 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 of, of, of feed cost is is saved. So that's huge. Okay. So mm -hmm. and then Can this I ask one. Something? Yes. Hello. Question. Yes. Um, yeah. No. Uh, I would say though, because uh, first of my name is Thompson. I've yes, done. Thompson. Uh, I've done these systems. Um, I've got prototypes for aeroponics, hydroponics. Uh, I mean, the vertical one using the lights. Um, yeah. And lately, we've been trying the phoponics, uh, just purely just to uh, create these systems that we can obviously train people. Mm -hmm. But the challenge I've seen in South Africa is, I mean, I even tried to go to, I went to Woolworths to see if they would be keen, mm -hmm. but we found out the cost, you see, the cost of production is still quite high uh, compared to, you know, farming in the dirt. So you'd find that uh, the cost comparison obviously then actually makes it so, so much, uh, in other words, it's actually quite difficult because your, your price points uh, will be much higher, possibly twice. This, uh, I mean, I understand the quality. I mean, I've seen the quality because I've got these systems in my house and mm -hmm. we're trying to see how we can you know, send it into the market. But I like the idea that these uh, rotating systems, they go up to eight meters, but the yeah. challenge is Mm -hmm. You've got 20 meters high. Couldn't you go further up? Because obviously, I've looked at the marginal cost of uh, harvesting as you go higher, but yours are rotating, mm -hmm. which actually could actually help you reduce the cost. Yeah. Because you said it's 20 meters high. Yeah. If you're 20 meters high and you can go higher, because obviously you don't want to you, you want to utilize that space to uh, reduce the cost of uh, you know uh, the cap capex uh, required or the uh, investment return. Okay. Fair so, enough. Mm -hmm. That's the challenges we have. Uh, the cost of producing, I mean, of uh, setting up will be fairly high than obviously someone who's in Japan or in US where it's quite co in cold climates where it's, it's obviously feasible. But here you're competing with someone who can farm in the debt much cheaper. Okay, yeah, it, and that depends now on the, I, so in your, in your costing environment, what is the main driver of course besides CapEx? Uh, you mean uh, for the hydroponics or for yeah, the for the hydroponics? Uh, yeah, for it'll, the be electricity. Electricity. it'll be electricity. It'll be electricity, right? Yes. Because the electricity for the air conditioning, right? Yes. Right. Uh, it's we, for everything: lights, air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Air conditioning can be very high. Very high. Right. Right. So what 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 do they have done here in Australia is to is to cut air conditioning costs radically. Through the, through the which is a, by as much as fifty percent, right? Okay, I'm and that's 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 the, that's the other qualification which I will lose. And I'll get back in. You will see as we go okay. down the slide that air conditioning is a, is something which they have thought about. So, and it's a, that, that's another opportunity which I want, to, which I will be exploring in future because that okay. that 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 radical reduction in air conditioning is also an opportunity for shopping centers in South Africa for buildings which require a lot of conditioning. 
but will be yeah. i'm still talking to the i'm still having the conversation with the um, with the, the with the owners of the technology to say if they can also give me exclusive rights in South Africa about that technology. So that's that's where the, the critical difference is in terms of okay. conditioning. So yeah, that 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 is a very good question anyway. But I'll I'll, I'll also create a, a detailed answer around that one. So so it's a electricity and CO two. Uh, obviously CO two you know is still quite expensive actually because you have to buy in co2 actually to inoculate the you know the indoor farming no actually maybe did you see the it's a it's a completely sealed dome i saw that yeah yeah it's a completely sealed but now, dome. the moment so you're it, indoor you yeah. need to put your plants need co2 uh so that they can so we use i use dry ice mm -hmm. instead of using the normal gas because obviously the gas is quite expensive mm -hmm. so you just use a uh, gas i mean uh, dry ice and then it evaporates. Uh, you use like in your case, you're talking about uh, air fans. They blow the CO, uh, the dry ice and then it, um, it blows onto the plants and then mm. they grow. I mean, they grow fa much faster, putting CO2 and not uh, compared to not using CO2. Okay. Yeah. Do you see here? They say 100% outside, fresh air inside. All right. Okay. So that's oh, that's that, 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 that's where that's where the key thing is. But uh, oh. it's a good lose and lose. I'll find out whether there are any issues about COP. I, I like to always to to escalate any question so that because it's yes. it's, it's you, you need to get all the answers. So to me, the questions you are answering are good, and they is is part of the due diligence process. Sometimes we we tend to forget that those those things are are are, are very important. Yeah. So thanks for that, okay. uh, Thompson. Um, okay. my, my where, where are you going? Come, I mean, I'm in, I'm in Australia. No, no, Thompson, where, where are you based? I'm in Cape Town. Ah, Cape, Cape Town. Town. Okay. okay. Are you already I'm Mr. Yeah. friend, uh, Mr. Mawere. Yeah? I'm Tapua's friend. You know Tapua, your, your nephew in Cape Town? Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Are you already in uh, in uh, this kind of business? Because you seem yes, to... yes. I, I, yeah, I know it very well. Yeah, I know it very, very, very well. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. What are you doing in Cape Town? So actually, <laughs> funny enough, you're asking me now. So we're actually looking for EU grants to put this into because I mean the cost. I mean that's why I actually attended this thing. I wanted to understand exactly what you guys are offering. The I've set up the system, so now I wanted to train people how to use hydroponics or whether it's aeroponics. We de develop the system actually either using, I see they're using this, um, obviously these rotating trays, which is quite, a, which is good. Uh, we can't use, we can't afford to use a rotating tray. So I wanted to, uh, uh, I wanted the EU government to actually give us funding so we can train the new farmers so that People don't always have to farm in the dead because it's actually quite expensive. And yeah. I, I, I concur with what you're saying with the pesticides free, that whole, um, I, I understand that environment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how, okay, go ahead. Yeah. So now we want, uh, instead of people, if, uh, the government has been giving people farms. And I mean, I've, I mean, I used to rent farms actually to farm uh, kale from Zim. And then I actually realized, you know, I mean, most of farmers, their heads are in the sand. I mean, there's no, you don't really make money actually when you do the numbers. Mm -hmm. So this is fairly a scientific way of actually calculating your, your nutrients, your costs, your lighting and so on. So you kind of come to a number to sort of see, okay, is it making sense in terms of what price I'm getting and so on. So now we're trying to work with government to say, how can we help your farmers instead of just giving them land? Give them land, even small portions. I mean, you mentioned about uh, 16,000 square meters. Those mm -hmm. kind of uh, portions of land and then invest. And then we train them to actually use hydroponics so they can get to the, uh, to the market. Because the challenge is, even if you give them land and inputs, because government is spending truckloads of money and buying tractors and so on. So you could rather put that money instead of taxes you put into these kind of things, particularly in the urban areas. And, and then, you are right. Uh, I agree entirely. Okay. You don't but, have but to. Don't, you, don't, you don't use a lot of land with hydroponics. 
and uh, you Welcome avoid down. a lot of outlays in terms of machinery and tractors. Of course, in a way, it's counterproductive. It means uh, you are you are killing off <laughs> with this, some supply chains. So that means some people will be out of business generally. But such is the nature of the beast. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, and what have you learned about commercial agriculture in Af in South Africa? Uh, well, we, I have not gone into sort of cash crops. We are doing leafy greens, uh, which is what uh, this kind of thing. Are you are you sending them to heaven or what? The leafy greens. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. The bottom line, I think, to the biggest challenge uh, we have is um, I, I don't want to make it a racial thing, but it is unfortunately that breaking into the market, getting the customer, is the biggest challenge. Uh, why but, I'm saying that? Yeah, but the, what you, you look at the you know the law of gravity. Yes. Yeah. What does it favor? What does it favor? The law of gravity. Yeah. Stay put. <laughs> huh? it I don't know. You the, tell me. I, I didn't get the question right. For mass, that we can have a few people who are organized. Yes. And the, they can produce what a majority of these organized people can produce. 100%. percent no funding, it also uh, uh, relates to the scale. If you go bigger scale, then the unit cost goes down. That's right. Yeah. That's, the that's, that's, that's very true. Uh -huh. that, that's and very true, but... And cost. Right. Then, yeah. That is correct. And uh, if you look at the screen, if you look at the screen, you can compare. Look at what you can produce beans. Yeah? Mm. Per acre. You can produce 252 tons of beans on yeah. one acre and 108 tons of peas. Or maybe That's even uh, cabbage is 216,000. You can see where the scale, where the scale is. Uh, look at tomatoes, 1,800 tons uh, or cucumbers. Yeah, but here you are looking at what, uh, if you look at tomatoes, even undercover. Mm -hmm. Undercover. The maximum is about 200. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 200, 300. If you got light, then you can get a bit more. Yeah. Mm. But uh, if you look at the economics of it and the popularization of it, mm. Tom may agree that uh, uh, we ourselves are not organized. Yeah. We're talking about transactions, not transformation. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Why, yes. Why, why the commercial farmers, they came here to transform their lives. They didn't come here for transactions. Yes. That is great. Yeah. They have not gone back to Europe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, true. So yeah. if they came here with one-way tickets and uh, you went to Cape Town with a return ticket to Zimbabwe. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's, so there, what I was just placed, what was there are a lot of things there? which I, I know what Thompson is talking about. The you see the when Mawere is saying transformation and that is correct actually. Because we, we, we are not we are not in a stage where we are transforming. All 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 we are focusing is on is on is on politics which doesn't add value to our transformation. You know, and the politics is wrong. It's not. It's not about economic politics. If we're talking about economic politics, then we'll be we'll be streets ahead. I'll give you an example. Look at the Sahara Desert, or the or the Namib Desert. Yeah, we should be putting massive solar plants there to power the whole of Africa, right? But what is happening in Libya? We only have wars there. Yeah. So the but, politics is not about economics. <laughs> How did you know about this meeting? <laughs> Sorry? How did you know about this uh, meeting? Oh, uh, um, it, in the group. I'm in the group. Which one? The um, own uh, thing, group. Wow. Because the, I only yes, said... I'm I in the WhatsApp group. 
Okay. And then you are eloquent in your silence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Because because so, fine. I didn't I didn't send it to the group. I sent it to Mahoire. So I, I I thought they were. Yeah, he only sent it to me. And Mr. Giwane wanted me, my ears, to be polluted with this ideology. <laughs> 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 so you decided you decided to 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 spread the pollution, right? No, no I said the group. <laughs> it's in the group. <laughs> I said, why should I keep it to myself? Okay. Uh, no, wonderful, thanks. No, it's in the yeah, group. So yeah. that is the purpose of that group, so that we have the media. Imagine right now you are sharing, Mr. Ngiwane, I mean. <laughs> he enough. wants to share with the people he thinks are influential, but agriculture has no influence. Anything that makes sense mm. will attract uh, people who are interested. Okay. Yeah, more people yeah, know yeah. the better. Mm. But uh, our problem is that we target people and say this one is influential. Therefore, let me send to him. But after you do, you discover that I've I've no way of communicating it. Even in that group, uh, Thompson, we yeah, put yeah. a hydroponics a group. Indeed, yeah, yeah. Then uh, we would be able to broadcast openly to say, uh, does it mean that if I'm black, I can't be in hydroponics? Mm. And you in fact, know, yeah. Money that don't even know where to put it because we're disorganized. Okay. And that's very true. That's actually yeah. very true. That, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Money wants to show me as a tourist in agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> It's wasted time for me. <laughs> it's wasted time for me because it will never multiply. Hundred percent, yeah. yeah. Right. So okay. I to record this so that we can share it. But if we're sharing live, it means, Mr. Thompson, the reason you came here is because someone chose to share. Uh, indeed. I'm telling yeah. Mr. Nguani. Okay. Right. And then Mr. Nguyen was introduced to me by Zakele, who has not yet paid $30. Can you imagine? Just $30 yeah. to belong to this community, so give up time <laughs> to listen to all these wonderful things. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Nguyen, he yeah. never asked anything. Yeah. No, I'm always... Mr. Nguyen, I suggest we... Uh, you are saying something that... Uh, that most of us don't appreciate the power of building communities. When you say a farmer's cop, mm -hmm. when you say a farmer's club, if you check in Australia, you find that farmers are organized. So it means that, if that for another pick, that for another pick. Thompson, if it's money, that is a problem. If scale is the problem. Let's solve the problem of scale. Okay. And let's have okay. a pilot. Yeah. Yeah. So it means uh, we need to be able to uh, have people like Mr. Ngiwani, the ambassador, the one who can bridge us to the technology supplier. 100%. All yeah. I in his, his cut in the value chain. So if he gets what he's looking for, then he, everyone benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Mr. Mawere, <clears throat> there was, um, uh, I spoke to, what's her name, in the group uh, yesterday, somebody, I think yesterday or, or Saturday, we were talking about, Saturday actually, uh, who was talking about GAP. Um, it, it might have yeah. passed you, but someone was talking about you GAP. Know, yeah, we were talking about GAP and uh, it's, I think, oh, Janet. Yes, and exporting to Dubai because obviously they need um, the importing, the exporting. You can export uh, leafy greens such as lettuce and all, you know, these other herbs, including now you are some of these vegetables. Now you are talking. talking about. That's exactly where, we, where I'm going because you so, see, the, yeah. I think where Africa lakes. Sorry, just hold me. Well, imagine Thompson, Mr. Uh, 
Actually, then he's talking on behalf of Africa when he doesn't know that we are 1.3 billion people. Yes, no, that's true. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's very true. So I did chat to. What, what happened? So what happened? Here? Have you joined yourself? Yeah. Have you joined the the group? Yeah, yeah. but joined the group. I've been here. I just haven't. I've been, been listening. Uh, I try to listen, and uh, yeah, I'm, I I follow through. I just don't. I haven't. I've been quiet. As you're saying, I've been quiet. Yeah. If you are you now a believer or you are a, uh, <laughs> a believer? <laughs> yeah, I'm a believer. We are okay. trying to see if we can so set up this thing. We are all up members. He's not a paid up members. He's a peeping tom. <laughs> 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 and then you, you blame whites mm. for not keeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah. need to manage our destinies there. But it's 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 a it's a brilliant uh, concept that uh, you brought so, up to put this thing together. That's right. Let's let's build communities so that we can invite Mr. Gwani to a broader group. But uh, he can a presentation because if he finishes his presentation with us, then it, yes. it will be because I won't know what to repeat and what not to repeat. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll make it very easy anyway. But you can let me, you see, on this area here, this is where the opportunity is big. Have you ever heard of, of Sprouts? You are not listening. <laughs> Thank you. And let's have order and structure. Then we present to people who can be able to take this thing forward. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Otherwise, you present to me, then you have to repeat again. Okay. That's true, yeah. Mm. So let's have an order organization that the people who are interested in investing People who are interested in doing the actual work mm -hmm. represent technology so that we introduce it in an organized manner. Fair 100%. enough. Mm -hmm. And then we have our representative in Australia, in our group called C2C. Mm -hmm. I want to convert our connections to Mr. Nkiwane into a community where change can be promoted. Mm -hmm. Because we end up speaking among ourselves and complaining about the same things, what is the next step? So after Mr. Nguani finishes his presentation, he would expect us to be his uh, missionaries. And yet we are not missionaries. <laughs> yeah. So Mr. Nguani did one thing. You know what he did, Thompson? Yeah. I explained to him what we are trying to do. He became a paid up member. Yeah. Not only that, he agreed to be representative among his friends to say, guys, let's be more organized. Mm -hmm. Money is not the problem, but organization is a problem. Mm -hmm. I, I concur with you, yes. Mm -hmm. We have another guy called Genius. Uh, we don't know whether Genius is alive or not. I'm alive. Uh, uh, in the group, uh, in our meeting. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we yeah, can okay. hear. Yeah, I can hear you now. Who, who is Genius? Yeah. Well, my, is my, name is, <laughs> my name is Genius Mazo, and I, I'm in the UK. And um, yeah, I saw the invite through Dank Beetle Farm because um, I'm very interested in going into farming. Um, I know I've my, my family has a piece of land in Zimbabwe and I think it's just being wasted and uh, you know yeah we spend a lot of time complaining and uh, not doing anything and I feel that uh, it's about time that um, I step into uh, that sort of uh, business mm -hmm. and make sure I do something about it so I have been sort of uh, researching and uh, just trying to 
get to know people, get to know what they're doing, get to know uh, the situation, what to get, because I'm totally blind at the moment as to what um, to expect, but I have an idea on what I want to do. And uh, if we join, do you know the group uh, uh, that uh, uh, Thompson was talking about? Uh, is it the Dung Beetle one? Not, not the Dung Beetle one. No, 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 I don't know about that group. Yeah. Maybe Mr. Yeah. Maori got more groups connected to, uh, to yeah. Dan Bito. I would like to know how Dan, Dan Bito got to know about this. I'm feeling about me sharing this. Uh, have you seen uh, uh, Genius? Uh, that, sorry, see. They are complaining in that group that why did I share the meeting invite? Oh, yeah, I, I saw that and. Uh, yeah, I, I thought that was not warranted, in my opinion, because uh, what you're speaking, what you're, what you're, what you're, sorry? Go ahead, go ahead, we're sorry, sorry, I was interrupting you. Oh, I, I, I was just saying that, um, just listening to uh, uh, what's being discussed here, I think there's a lot of, uh, information that is very valuable. So it doesn't matter really uh, what you are going into into farming, but just to also hear the other side of what other people are doing and uh, uh, getting that knowledge, I think it's also important. Well, if somebody is not into hydrophonics, then they should just ignore it. But uh, I, I, as I was listening, it's more than just the hydrophonics, the technical, uh, you know, know-how of it, because uh, there's also a bit of politics and other things around it that you need to know. You need to know about the funding. You need to know about your environment. You need to know, you know, all those things. So I've, I'm finding it very uh, informative and helpful. Thank you. Uh, we will we'll introduce you to the other group. Okay. Uh, so we wanted to use the media so that Mr. Nkiwani's voice and your voice can be heard beyond uh, the small groups that we operate in. Yes, that's right. That's good. And that's what that is the idea uh, that uh, Thompson must be known. You got the knowledge, you got the opportunity. So, investment ecosystem because you may have the best equipment but the environment is not good mm. you might invest uh, in hydroponics and then someone in government signs an offer later to somebody else after you've finished investing yeah true and he says no kesti uh, uh coventry <laughs> <laughs> must get the land. <laughs> you can get you can get the and farm. <laughs> get the farm that you have yeah. invested a hundred million dollars. Yeah, true. Yeah, and then true. we are we are we are blind to all the things that we see happening. So we must yeah. be able to look for Mr. Ngiwani, be the change you want to be. Let's talk to the Department of Agriculture. That's Let's right. talk to the Department yes. of Land that if I invest in hydroponics. Please don't touch it for 99 years. Allow me to finish my 99 years. Even if I'm dead, I must be allowed to say that we can farm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And this is capital intensive. Yeah. Yeah, yes. And your, your investment come to, can come to zero. But where are we talking about those public policy choices? Some people are saying, let's go and do pigs. But in which country? <laughs> <laughs> you must be alive to the country. We lost nine farms, some of you may not know. And I'm not white. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you many farms? nine farms, my company had nine farms, FSI Agricom, we tried the same thing to bring technology in a high scale to do enterprise agriculture. 
And some people want to complain to the president that Maori is taking people's land or buying from white, giving them sanctuary so that he can protect their interests and he's working with whites. <laughs> uh, you didn't know that. No, I didn't know. I only, yeah, I no. only know about the, the mines in Shabani, is it? No, there's a company, if you go, FSI Agricom. Oh, okay, I remember that one. If it's I agree yeah. home, yes. Agree yeah. home. Yes, I yeah. remember that. We are employing more than 3,000 people. Mm. And could you not do that, uh, replicate it in South Africa, Mr. Maweri? We can do that, but he, he, we need people like you. He, I've been yeah. kept looking at different uh, models for hydroponics. Yeah. The, the issue is... Uh, if we are not organized, the next thing is they're going to say, yes, Zimbabwe, you are not entitled to land in South Africa. The True. same policy that uh, caused disaster in Zimbabwe are going to be replicated. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah that, is that we must be there to talk about what is agriculture, what is not. That if you put long-term capital, you don't want tomorrow somebody to come there and say you are not black enough. Yeah. Hydroponics, uh, oh, he's talking about uh, 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 the equipment. It, it, it's uh, agnostic. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white. You can use it. No, that's true. I, I agree with yeah. you. But, uh, but uh, we have to be alive and talk about those things and talk to the Department of Agriculture. I have to say, we want to train the local farmers. We're not going to uh, be alive for, for indefinitely. But we want to combine technology. This is what we want to do. But the money that you are talking about transforming uh, in the post COVID, they have to put money into developing infra infrastructure. But the capacity to convert ideas into agricultural projects is not shared. Mm -hmm. that's so that's where we need to be organized for change. That is a fact. You have to look at the environment in which you operate. Uh, strategy is instructed by the environment. And Munyoro, who is Munyoro? He's on mute. Th thank you, Mr. Maweri. Good morning, Mr. Nkiwani. Good morning. Uh, my name is Thomas Munyoro. I'm an investments manager based in Zimbabwe, uh, managing one, uh, one of the larger pension funds. Uh, we have an interest into agricultural value chains. I have also been invited on the Dung, on the Dung Beetle um, Farms concept, and that is where I saw this invite. So I thought, let me listen in, learn a few things that you could try and implement locally. Okay, excellent. Which pension fund is that? I'm at NASA. Oh, you're at NASA. Do you have any portfolio, agriculture portfolio? Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Uh, do you have a... Did you understand the concept behind the FSI? Yes, I did, sir. Um, actually, I was employed at some point by Genesis Investment Bank. Oh, Genesis, uh, okay, you had an investment day. Yes. Yeah. All right. So if you look at uh, Genesis on the infrastructure, because some of the money for FSI we raised through Genesis. Precisely. I yeah. was part of that team. You have heard of that team, yeah. So I was talking to the chairperson, uh, Pamela Quatito, uh, in that Dan group. I said, guys, uh, be alive to the real challenges that we face. So if you are there and uh, we have Mr. Nkiwani, we have Thompson, it means we can think big and yeah. syndicate. Because the problem is uh, your annuities are in, in Zim dollars. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. But uh, uh, that is a depreciating currency. Yes, sir. Correct. And how, do you, how, how do you preserve your assets? So basically what we've been doing is we've been targeting <laughs> assets that um, have an, an aspect of uh, import substitution as well as foreign currency generation capacity. Yeah. So if we work together on this one, uh, uh, then we can be able to put pilots that we can say, let's do, uh, let's go with Mr. Kiyohani 
so that we we multiply the yields and I can export and the quality assurance is there. Then we have Thompson who is there. Then we create a working group of thinkers, you know, like the 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 commercial farmers, the Nikos and all these guys. The, the oh, guys who they are strategic thinkers. They are not farmers. Mm. Yeah, true. There's no one called a yeah. farmer. So you have access. We can develop an investment proposal. And then we locate in Zimbabwe. But the security of tenure becomes an issue because if NASA invests money there, what are the exit options? Yeah, good question. And you know uh, what is called a crop note? I don't know whether you know it, Minoru. Uh, what, uh, corporate uh, treasure uh, notes. No, no, co uh, crop note, crop note. Crop note, no, I've not come across those, sir. You see, you have bonds for property. So I can invest in a note which says uh, I need the leafy greens. Uh-huh. And then I pay my loan with leafy greens. I don't take equity. Okay. It becomes a structured loan. Okay. Almost like butter. It's yeah, like, like a shopping mall. Yes. Okay. Um, so you, you, you are literally taking your, your, your return in the form of an, as, uh, an asset. Yeah, in terms of an asset. So you can go to your annuity and plan for return because most of these... Uh, Greens, the, uh, the cycle time is about 90 days or 120 days. Or less. Mm -hmm. Or less. Yeah. So you can have, uh, you can have uh, three or four harvests or five harvests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So part of that retain, then I, when I export, I have a note that is paid indexed in dollars. Which then well, deals with the currency issues we were talking about earlier. That's right. Then it means now, if it's a crop note, I you know equity you have to get return after after tax. Yeah. Yes. But if it's a crop note, it's a cost of sales. That's right. That's right. Okay. No, I will. I'll start yeah. looking to that and try and understand so that concept. It, it, it's tax efficient. What is simple saying that? Look at this picture here. So. He, will have, he might have a cop note over beans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's what Marawere is simply saying. So he knows that we are going to have his 252 tons. So mm -hmm. he can put a cop note over, say, 100 tons or 50 tons. Mm -hmm. Over 10 years. Or, or over 10, 10 years. years. So over 10 years, he knows he has his 50 tons from, the, from this investment per over 10 per year. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what he's simply saying. Okay, okay, wait. Like a road construction or toll gate. Or That's right. Road. Yes. Yeah. So, Mr. Mawere, can't we do that in South Africa? Because that's actually quite interesting. I mean, I used to become a, I used to be a fixed income it, manager. And Thompson, you have not even joined because when we when we talk, to <laughs> you know, you don't want to know who is behind this. Okay, okay, it will be done today. <laughs> Let's target Maori. Okay. Instead of embracing the, the, the transformation. No, no, that's that, no, I mean, it's a, it's a brilliant concept. I, I never thought of it. I mean, we, yeah, uh, yeah, it's actually quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we are look, looking at that, uh, then. It means Munyoro become part of whether it's in Zimbabwe, South Africa, Thompson, it doesn't matter. Yes, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But we can do things in Zimbabwe, do things in South Africa simultaneously with NASA. Because he's got a budget, he's under pressure to invest in agriculture. But he doesn't have the the the, 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 the clients. Yes. So he ends so, up taking and uh, farm, farm get uh, investments where you have a guy logged up with a lot of water, a lot of this, but he only needs 10 million because that's what he can afford. Mm. Where is Tanganda or whether it's ethanol or whatever, sugar, 
uh, uh, whether whether it's a, a hippo value or, or or a triangle, they are they are enterprises. So we can go to Mnyoro to say, Mnyoro, let's uh, step back. Who are the generals of agriculture, Mnyoro? Thompson, do you see any general in Zimbabwe? Yeah. There's no general, they are all infantry. <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're trying to do in the case of FSI. Mm. So that need a general, not Maweri. We can okay. do things in a bigger way. That's why we put into CFI, so that we can have a value chain. It's all about value chains. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So Munyoro may be persuaded to do that. To say, guys, and see, instead of me, I have twenty projects per year. I would rather have one that supports a bigger uh, project that is a development. Yeah. Agenda. Yeah. But, but in t Mr. Manyoro, Manyoro, what's your investment uh, sort of uh, period? I mean, do you have, a, is it a, you know, on the private equity side? Is it, um, do you have a five year but time the, issue for you? Right now, in these small groups, somebody. So, so, so just to answer Thompson there, um, we are looking at uh, something that's medium to long term. Remember, our risk return profile is such that we're collecting money today that's going to be pay out, pay, paid out as a pension in the next 15, yes. 20 years. Yeah. So we, we have got a relatively, we are able to get something with a relatively long-term kind of um, payoff. Okay. okay. So, see what you mean. so you see what the power of these WhatsApp groups are, uh, Mr. Nguyen. Yes, I can see that, and um, I'm learning yeah. a lot. That's why I'm doing a more of listening, because when the more I listen, the more I learn. <laughs> but I understand. I understand when you are talking about value chains, because that's where my passion is, creating yeah, but value. Also knowing, knowing each other is more important than value chain. Building right. a community, we can put an instrument that you can take. Yeah, yeah, a bit muffled today. Um, uh, yeah, sounding, ro sounding robotic. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Um, excuse me, gentlemen. I have another engagement at 11 o'clock. It was a pleasure meeting you. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we can share contact details. Um, I don't know how. Yeah, that's to... it. But may I excuse just myself? Just type on the, on the chat. Sure, that's fine. Okay, just, just type on contact details before you leave. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, learn from that. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. We have lost you a little bit. Yeah, I think it's my connection here. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, I see someone with an iPhone, and uh, please, Mnyoro, give us your WhatsApp number as well. Uh, WhatsApp number. So if you are here, Thompson, also do the same so that we, we can get to know each other. Okay. All right. And there's uh, somebody with an iPhone. Who is that? Okay, it's, it's uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Maweri. It's, it's Zakel. I just, I, I just picked up on, uh, on that group that there was this meeting here. I'm, I'm just here to listen. All right, no, that's fine. So yeah. I think that's uh, 
uh, uh, Julius, uh, do you want to make any any comments so that we can then uh, form a group to uh, to convene a meeting that we can talk to? Uh, and Thompson, uh, are you inspired to be the change? Yes, yes, absolutely. I am. I, I am inspired, especially when you talked about uh, transformation versus uh, transactions. transactions. And I think that is a very, very important thing because um, most of us, we think of lining our pockets with a lot of money and that's it. We do not care about the environment. We don't care about the sustainability of the project and uh, also how it impacts on others. Are we helping the whole community to rise or we just want to rise on our own and forget everyone else? So I, I think that has really caught my attention and uh, it's something that I would love uh, to, to do and be involved in. So yeah, I'm, I'm really interested. I'll, I'll give my details as well on the chat. Uh, Mr. Mawir, are we going to set up a separate group to this or it's going to be part of the, um, the, uh, the community group? I mean, we, is it going to be in this group or in the community group? I don't know whether Did you hear me there, Mr. Mawir? Hello? Mr. Kiwane, did you hear what I said? Yes, I, I heard, but yeah, I heard you clearly. I think we might have I lost. Think, uh, we, we might have lost Mawere. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think he's trying to possibly trying to. Hey, uh, Mabasu. Mm. Hey, Kiwane. Good job, man. I'm happy. Right. 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 To talk okay. about that, what, what exactly the plan is. Yeah. But, but that's just another thing, Mr. Nkiwane. Uh, I presume, obviously, I mean, strawberries, I'm, I'm looking at fruiting vegetables because obviously they're quite high value, particularly all year round vegetables, um, strawberries. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we are able, obviously, to, that's one we can also use these systems, eh? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Remember, if you look, I'll, I'll just close this. You can see. Now, I want to hear about the air, the, the air con stuff, or maybe we should put it in the other group, in the other chat, I guess. That's right. Yeah, but you can see, like, if you go back there, look at the look at the possibilities of what you can grow. Yeah. So it's virtually anything. Now. Yeah. But there are some things which people don't realize, and I was going to talk about this area sprouts you know farmers farmers use rye grass in in uh, in, 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 in in south africa for stock feed so you can sprout rye for seven days and you can feed your cattle okay you can you can you can sprout a uh, barley for instance to feed your cattle and alfalfa so you, and you can see this is just an example of strawberries, right? But this is this is another great opportunity here because this system can feed up to seven thousand cattle. Okay, and it costs yeah. stock feeds up to stock feed by up to seventy percent, and this it's and it's it's from grain to cattle feed in seven days, right? You just sprout seven days, it's ready for stock feed. You see. Mm -hmm. So it depends, and there is also medicinal cannabis as well. So there are basically yes. a lot of areas where you can, so you can have you can have domes for different things: stock feed, tomatoes, or strawberries, or way or lettuce, yeah, yeah. or you can have <laughs> stock feed to for this for the farmers, or you can have uh, medicinal cannabis, and then with the medicinal cannabis you can also have. Uh, a, an, an oil extraction plant. So instead of you, you, you export the oil to to to, okay. to overseas. Okay. 
So there's it's a I huge think opportunity. Mr. Is back, eh? Yes, yeah, I think he's back. Yeah. Yeah, he's back, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Um so Mr. Yeah. Mawere, I did I'm ask a question. Sorry, I had I... A connection problem. That's okay. It's okay. And, and in terms of cost wise, yeah, how okay, what's, right. the, what's the cost? Is it per square meter? How do you do it? I mean, just uh, uh, for Intersec, a complete costing, how is it for CapEx? Well, the CapEx is huge. Uh, the CapEx is about 19 million for the whole dome. But if you want the what dome, you are, you are looking about. Uh, you are looking about at about eight million. So it depends on what the so you see that the dome size is one sixty by one hundred. You can have a smaller dome which is eighty meters by hundred meters. Okay, these are the estimates of what it looks like. But uh, just be aware that this is based in a developed country. So most of this these costs can be radically reduced because we are talking about Africa. So it might be cheap. Yeah, I think yeah, we can always do yeah. the costing to sort of see what can be sourced locally. Right, that but is when, cheaper. Where the only thing the costs which you cannot change are these: the air dome and the air locks and the rotating growth towers and the well, and you can also have an influence over the support buildings there. So you can radically reduce this cost, right? So basically, what you can't control is three areas: the dome, the air, the dome. air lock, and the rotating growth towers. So that's, that's but the other one, the other areas, concreting structures, you can do because it's based in locally. Okay, but that's the that's the that's the that's the cost based on a, on a on a full dome. Okay. Now this is okay. an example of what the crop yield looks like for tomatoes and lettuce, right? And you can see if you are retaining 5.6 million, right? Based on an investment of almost 20 million, that's a, a return of about four years, okay? But I know that 20 million is on the upside. That's why it's, it would be silly for me to try and do this alone. So there is a, an opportunity for a half size green greenhouse which is just 100 meters by eight meters, 80, okay? And uh, still even the yield is good. So you are doing about 330 tons and 755,000 head of lettuce per year, which is still a lot. Now you can see that it's about, this one, the half size is considerably cheaper. And the, 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 the so basically what instructs this is the, how, many, how many growth towers you put there, okay? So I'm, I'm sure I will have the conversation with these guys to see that, can we have an option where we even cut this in the dome size to say 50 meters by 40 meters so that we jumpstart the process and then we can, we can grow from there. So those are the options. So I'm still having conversations with my principals there and say, look, we're talking about Africa. But having said that, if, 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 if what Maweri was saying, if we are talking about critical mass, yeah, if you bring people together, if you build relationships, then that six million is nothing. Even that 20 million is nothing. If you have the critical mass of people behind. So that's what Maweri is talking about. Yeah, I do think that it's necessary to put a pilot first, just to sort of understand the environment, how that dome behaves in our climate, because obviously how it behaves in Australia or Europe would be different to see how it behaves in South Africa yes. or where, whether it's Zimbabwe. So um, a, a pilot would be a, a possibly a fairly a, a better one. So that gives you an indication that if you go, uh, if you do have an ex expansion strategy, then obviously, you know, you kind of uh, sort of understand that your, your production outcomes will be replicated um, if you grow if you grow bigger. Absolutely, and, yeah. and, uh, and uh, I'll have the conversation with my principals about that. And when you are talking about that, it's, it's not only, remember what Maori was saying, it's, it's also the environment. So it's no use putting this, this setup there when you are not going to have influence over supply chains. And you have to, and in, no, in, no, a, no. in a country like South Africa, I, I learned the hard way when I when I brought a product there, and I had not done my homework in terms of, in terms of the environment. I uh, the Germans had created a wonderful pro, uh, product around uh, 
hospitality where you don't have these little soaps and gels for washing when you are in a hotel. So it is something which you could stick there and uh, you don't have to be uh, minimizing theft, minimizing plastics. I couldn't penetrate the, the, the South African market. Guess what? Because the white people, they control everything. Yeah. The, why this my product was good? It was threatening a lot of people's economic interests. So those type of things you have to, there has to be a, a, a proper due diligence as to exactly, are we going to supply pick and pay for instance? Are we going to supply checkers? Are we going to supply restaurants? Because you might you might put all this in thing together and then you say, oh, okay, I'm growing tomatoes and then you find yourself, there are no buyers. So there's still a lot of work to be, which needs to be done instead of, instead of, instead of scanning the environment in which, you, in which you are going to operate, uh, do a proper sort analysis in, in, in South Africa to say, okay, do we have the, 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 the market for this organic produce? If we don't have the domestic market, what are the opportunities for export? Who are we going to export? Which products? Okay, so that 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 sort of due diligence, not just the pilot. So the pilot must be within a, 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 a holistic and global context to say, I want to understand exactly whether am I going to crystallize my my value chains. You see what I'm saying? That is critically important. Yeah. 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 So this this is this is just we're just we're just putting our feet in the water just to understand where we can uh, perhaps collaborate and see. But there's still a lot of work to be done. So I think uh, that's fine. <laughs> We're listening, Mawere, we can't get you. So I think let's say, let's say not too big. Yeah, no, I'm saying is let's try to open Nice first, yes. and then uh, turn into what is possible. That's right. Because the, a pilot would work if Thompson was the investor. <laughs> but if I'm bringing a housing unit in Africa to control, it doesn't matter when the house is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because hydroponics by nature, so that we know. Otherwise, what we are talking about the best is to become a large scale and then use that as a demo for the smaller guys. Okay. Hello? Yes, we yeah, can hear you. Yeah. Yes, Hello. we can hear you. Listening. Yeah. So, yeah, let's have a society of the elite. Thompson is an elite. Gwan is an elite. Sankel is an elite. Vinyas is an elite. So, we need to be able to share numbers so that we First, we must join the C2C community. Then second, we must then congregate as people who love hydroponics and who are promoting hydroponics in Africa. Yeah. Hello. Yes, yeah. we are listening. Yes. So, um, should we then set up a group uh, specifically for hydroponics, or should it be via the C to C? How should it be? First, you must be C to C because we are we are converting ideas into communities. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Then from once member of the C to C, then we become a subgroup called hydroponics. Okay, fine, that's okay. Uh, uh, genius, is that okay? Yes, that's fine, sir. All right. 
za kile za do Yes 100%. Yeah, so let's uh, let's try to think big so that the small guys can think small. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. All right, I hear you. I think that's the route to go. So um Mind you. So should we just introduce ourselves in the group to say um, that, uh, so that we share numbers anyway also? Or should uh, Mr. Uh, who can set who can set up the group on the C2C, the hydroponics group? C2C is now we leave Thompson to give a, a summary of what was discussed in the group and what we resolve to do in the group. Okay. But uh, Genius is not in that group. Um, he's in that uh, double, what, what was it? Um, I see also um, Dan, not it, Dan Beetle it's group. It's the Dan so Beetle in, group that, yeah, that's the one I mean. Is Dan B2 group connected to this? Uh, was it connected via CTC or something? How, how, how did you, how, who is it? It's, 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 it's a separate group. Okay, okay. All right. so we need uh, uh, Thompson to be invited to that group. I mean, we need Genius to be invited to that group. Mr. Giovanni, I don't know if he's joined already. Yeah, I think he's joined. Yes, um, oh, I mean the, the, yes, I joined. I think I joined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can have another session for organizing ourselves to transform, not organizing ourselves to do transactions. We don't need organization to do transactions. Okay. Absolutely. Otherwise, some people become prostitutes of pimps. Yeah. So, Thompson can help us with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, genius, can you the genius to, to join the group? So Genius, yeah. is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's okay. I'd love to join that. Yeah, you can inbox me your number because I'm in that Dan group. Okay, sir. Then I'll add you. Uh, Mr. Angiwan, don't uh, uh, forget your presentation. We need it, but we need to come not as one, as five people, we need to come as 100 people. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yes, no, I hear what you're saying. So our target is to get 100 people so that we get a critical mass so that Thompson, when we are talking yeah. to the Department of Agriculture or EU, they know that uh, its banks are a bit more organized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, That's true. Excellent. Okay, no, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, thank you Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Send us the link, Mr. Nguyane, so that we can share the, the video. Yes, I'll do. Certainly. Okay. <laughs> thank thank you. you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Mawere. <laughs>